very important part of the physical examination is simply inspection. Uh, we want to evaluate the patient and evaluate them to make sure that uh, by looking at them, they look symmetric and normal. Uh, what we want to look at for this young man from the front is to see if his pectoralis size is the same on both sides. We want to see if his shoulders uh, are at the same elevation. He's not drooped on one side compared to the other. And then from the front, we can palpate certain parts of the anatomy. So we, want to, we can palpate along the entire clavicle from the sternoclavicular joint along the clavicle itself down to the AC joint. Just below the AC joint is the coracoid process, which is where the biceps tendon, or one of the two heads of the biceps, attaches. We follow straight down towards the axillary crease. If we put our fingers directly into that area and roll our fingers, you can actually roll right along the biceps tendon. At the axillary, anterior axillary fold is actually part of the pec tendon. And as we abduct and we have him resist pulling in, the pec tightens and you can actually palpate along the pec pectoralis tendon. The very front part of the acromion, this leading edge of the acromion, this, uh, the front edge, can often be tender in somebody who has impingement syndrome. Clearly, uh, while we look at the front of his shoulder, we actually also, it's very important to look from the back. So please, if you will, we're going to have you turn around so we can inspect from the back. 50% or at least half of your examination should be from the back of the shoulder so you don't miss other uh, types of pr uh, problems. Here we're again, we're going to inspect in general to see if one shoulder sits higher than the other. I want to see if he has motor weakness or specifically atrophy in the supraspinatus fossa, the infraspinatus fossa, and we'll compare that on both sides. I'll palpate directly along the spine of the scapula, along the medial border of the scapula to see if he has any pain in those areas. Very commonly, for somebody who has a slap lesion, their pain is actually on the posterior edge of the acromion, directly in the soft spot in this area here.